key to the work of the faculty on our campus is identifying the bottlenecks, the places where students get stuck. And then what is the faculty's tacit mental move when doing that kind of thinking so they can model it for students. Unlike many approaches to teaching, we're not so interested in content coverage or in teaching methods, but in the underlying mental move the expert uses for critical thinking in their field. Here's some faculty comments about this process. Instead of getting frustrated or student bashing, you're thinking they're not working hard enough or they're not intelligent enough, of thinking about, no, actually there's something difficult about this, so what is it that I can do, right, to un uncover what it is that's difficult to help them move forward. Just kind of switching that mentality from, again, a, maybe a more um, pessimistic view of students to a more optimistic view where they can actually break through this. I think that's really useful. When you explain something that's going through your head, I, I found out that there's just something that uh, is hard to explain about how you're solving a problem and what your mental moves are. Some, it, it almost seems like some of these mental moves are, have become part of your subconscious as opposed to just presenting dry material and hoping they come up with their own ways of doing it. Um, and, and so to build better thinkers, um, it, it would help for us to think about how, how we are thinking. And, and so that's what I learned the most, honestly. I mean, it was surprising to learn just how much I was taking for granted when I was trying to teach students, how much knowledge I have that I wasn't actually ever telling anybody about. Everyone had a different background, and so I wasn't actually talking to anybody who has ever tried to prove anything um, of the sort that I'm talking about was useful. If I was talking to other mathematicians and theoretical computer scientists, I probably would have had a group of people saying, yeah, isn't it frustrating how bad people are at proofs? I get it, I know, I understand. Whereas these people were more asking, well, how would you do that? And, well, I don't understand how you got from A to B. What was your mental process there? And sort of the things that would be obvious to people who are practiced in the area were not obvious to these people. And so having them be the ones to help me tease it out was useful.